Right, so apparently we've got to now go and head over to Beta Gorno 1. Um, so, completely different star system. Apparently, that's where they set up shop, the Shafixti. Um, looks like all of the spheres of influence are growing, and it looks like we've got the, um, the areas for the patrols as well, which is pretty good, so we can have a look at them. Um, looks like Patrol 1 is the best place to go and check out, but of course, we're going to go and check out all three because. Um, you know, while you know the signal got picked up for, for, for that particular event, we want to go and find out what happened to the other two patrols as well, which haven't turned up. So we're going to go and check out all three, as well as everything else that's on the star map at the moment, uh, in the game at the moment. And here we are, it looks like uh, they're setting up, uh, setting up their home planet to be here. Let's go and see if they're doing okay. Thanks! Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, hello? Should we do it? I think we should. Maybe we want to ask the reason for why it's all wrong, though, first. We resubmitted to analytical application. Please wait. Query returned 0.01 as runtime with the following results. Severe weather event has dropped most communication grid. All signals are routed through a single class 3 communication satellite. Okay. Just, okay, let's just go with them. Hello. Casualty. What is going on? Down here. Is this like a feature that hasn't been implemented yet, or is it just like this is what it is? Oh, there we go. Communication application. Sufficient bandwidth now available for standard communication. Please stand by. Greetings. Well, Captain. I don't think we've ever actually talked to a um, female Shafixti before, have we? We've only ever found the maidens, uh, which we picked up in our starship. Astute observation, Captain. I would suggest that you withhold yourself from sharing similar truisms in future dealings with members of alien races. My understanding is that the reproductive capacities of oneself is generally considered a delicate subject. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, who's in charge? Is it you, or are you just the person who are relaying us? You're just sort of the person who's fixed it all. Captain, I am Administrator Hiroku. I am in charge of this colony. I am sure you have many questions. I have a few moments in my schedule to bring you up to date on pertinent matters. Okay. All right. Let's let's get going. Um, yeah. What was going on there? Do you need any help? Is there something going on? Are you like short on power? As you must be aware, we are experiencing a severe weather event. Several of the new habitats were destroyed. Oh no. Our ongoing search and rescue effort approximate 20 casualties and 100 injured. I kindly acknowledge your help, Mother, but there is nothing more that can be done now. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you give us any information about the Lost Patrols? Have you got any information on them? The long-range survey patrols are the best hope for us to survive as a species, and their existence is solely due to the non-fanatic faction of our government. Alas, since I have been tasked with leading this colony, I have no further information about their success. I suggest contacting our scout fleet in the nearby area. You can find them easily enough in the nearby system. Okay, so we got a bit of information there. Um, don't really care about that culture, so uh, we might we might as well just Goodbye, go. Captain. There we are. That was useful. Doesn't seem like much is actually going on down there at all. They just seem to be running out of power and uh, basically just blowing themselves up um, on on a, on a terrible, terribly chosen planet. I guess uh, their their ships are not actually very good. The scout the ships. I mean, they haven't actually travelled very far. I mean, have they travelled through true space or have they gone through hyperspace to get there? If they've gone through true space, I mean, that's a good effort. Hyperspace? I mean, that's not a, that's not a good effort to try and move, is it really? Um, but yeah, if they've gone through true space, which something tells me they have, then I guess that is pretty far to go. Um, so I don't know. Either way, um, we have these three areas to explore. Uh, we can go to each one of them at some point. Um, but first, I want to go through all of the. Um, the Alliance and uh, and Slave Shielded races because I want to just go and check out what they're doing and see how they're doing. It doesn't look like the Ors or the Spathy have got Spheres of Influence, although I'm sure they haven't been Slave Shielded, unless the Spathy are still Slave Shielded from when they got Slave Shielded back on, back in the old game when they Slave Shielded themselves. 
But the oars definitely haven't been slave shielded. Oh god. Well met, brave captain. I trust I greet you in strong health. Yes, yes, goodbye. I don't want to talk to any more Shafixty. That's enough Shafixty for now. Goodbye, Earthling. Come back soon. Goodbye. Um, so yeah, the, the oars, we're going to go and check them out. I'm a little bit confused about them. I, they did have a small sphere of influence in the, in the Star Control 2, so I don't know why they haven't got a sphere of influence anymore. Um, so that's a bit strange. I also noticed the Micon aren't on the map at all, so maybe they've, um, maybe what I said earlier is actually true, because they got slave shielded, and they couldn't expand to other planets and uh, terraform them. Maybe they just died off um, between in the last five years. Maybe they died that quickly. I don't know. Um, but they're not on the star map, so I guess there's no point trying to find them. I mean, they're, they're, I remember them being in the... Or maybe they're not um, just... Maybe they're just not on the map at the moment. Maybe the... I can't remember if Mycon Space was east uh, or west of Yehat Space. But here we are at Yehat Space. Um, Gamma Serpentis is their home, home system. Here they are. Let's talk to them. Let's talk to the Yehat. How they doing? Rah! What a delightful surprise to see our old human captain friend again! We often think of you and how you aided the clans in their evolution to overthrow the Zebrite dynasty. Stories are told to hatchlings. Oh my god, we're famous. We're, we're famous in the Yehat's eyes. That's awesome. Hail, Yehat friends. The pleasure is mutual. How you doing? Yehat. What up, Drooks? Drooks? We know nothing of this. It's been too long. We thought he'd settled for a quiet life on Vela. What brings you here in a tour of starship? We're trying to find the Shafixti. They've gone missing, and we're just trying to find them. So it's going all fine. We haven't actually made any progress at all. We just decided to stop by and talk to you. Exactly. There we go. Right down there. See our old friend. Missing Shafixti, you say? We have no news on their patrols, but a Terminator scout group reported something interesting on Gamma Channels 2. Ah. Chasing a lone Korra vessel. You might consider checking it out. Apparently it bore the hallmarks of a precursor item. The group was in hot pursuit and had no chance to investigate. So, Gamma Janus 2, and apparently there was something... Uh, they were chasing a Korra. That's, that's strange. I'll have to go and check that out. Gamma Janus 2. That sounds like a new star. I don't remember that being in the old game. It sounds different. Um, but yeah, what happened to Pekunk, actually? Of course they got, um, like, they got, uh, absorbed. Our Pekunk brethren have integrated back into our society, kind of had a profound influence on our outlook of life, though I'm not sure how they expect to reintegrate biologically. In fact, the thought disturbs me so Yeah, I can understand that. The Pekunk are a little bit strange, uh, I will say. Um, but I wonder how the, yeah, how's the alliance going for you guys now, now that you're back in it? We have expanded our sphere of influence back to where it was before the Great Wars. Since we were battle thralls, we were less scared by Ulcon domination than other races. While others rebuild their homeworlds, we've been able to put our energies into helping the Chimur eliminate remaining Kara Marauders from this region of space. Well, yeah, I guess since they were battle thralls, they had all their ships already, but uh, I think we're gonna have to go now. It's nice talking to them. Goodbye, Yehat. Nice uh, talking to you again, after all these years. Um, so let's try and head to the uh, the main planet then. I guess they have a star base. There we go, there's the Yehat. Uh, their sphere of influence is, has grown quite substantially. Um, yeah, it's very big, big uh, sphere of influence. But let's go to the star base and talk to the star base commander, see if he has anything interesting to say. Um, yeah, there we go, they have a star base. Looks, again, identical to the Urquan ones, which is a little interesting. Oh, it's a Pekunk. Human Captain Friend! It is my pleasure as Station Commander to welcome ye to our first joint Pekunk and Yehat colony. But my dear brother, I think you're still dizzy from this morning's chanting session. We had agreed on this. It is I who gets to play Station Commander for today. Ah. <sighs> As you can see for yourself, Captain, we're still struggling with the concept of shared leadership. Please, come back later. You can consult our Pekonk Queen on Gamma Serpentis 1 in the meanwhile. Oh, okay, that was a little strange. There we go, there's the Pekonk. Awesome. 